So let's think about this. We have a graph. Absolute value of x minus 2 plus 1. Can we graph that? Yeah. All right, so let's just, I mean, if the gra problem's not making sense to me, I'm going to at least graph what I know. To the right, 2, up 1. Looks something like that. Right? Now it only says, only graph this for values that are greater than 0. So erase that, put a nice hole. Follow? OK. Now the other one says, find the value of k that makes this continuous. So we have x minus 2 squared plus k. Well, let's just pretend k is 0, because wouldn't that be easy to graph if yeah. k was 0? So if k was 0, then this graph would look like this. But it's only for when it's less than or equal to 2, so we divide that there. OK. So now, guys, if here is this when k is 0, what value of k do I want? What number do I want k to be? So that goes up there. 1, right? So we could say k is equal to 1. You can graph them, but I'm going to show you the algebraic method to get to this. I'm using the graphical for it to make sense, because when k is equal to 1, you're just shifting that up 1. Yes? Because if I replace 1 there, this graph would be shifted up 1. That means the hole would now fill in, or that value would fill in that hole. Right? Right. So basically, it's now being shifted up, and now it fills it in. So, but let's look at this algebraically. So this point is what we're, what we're basically looking at. We're looking for the point where both the functions are the same. Correct? Now, do we know what x value we want them to both be the same? Where, if they're discontinuous or continuous, what x value is that? At 2, right? So we know x is going to be 2 for both, if is going to be equal for both of them. And if we want them to be at the same point, if they both have x, we also want them to both have the same y, right? So again, guys, you can write this as y equals absolute value of x minus 2 plus 1, and this one as y equals x minus 2 squared plus 1. So if you want the y values to be equal, well, y equals this and y equals that. So guess what? Set them equal to each other. And then we don't want to set them equal to each other. We don't want to find when the x values are equal. We want to find out, I'm sorry, where is this? That's a k. We want to find what is the value k when x is equal to 2, where they're exactly the same. So now we just replace the x with the, um, the x value where they're going to be continuous. And 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0. k equals 1. And that's the algebraic way to find that value. Because not everything is going to be easy to graph. How do you know x plus 2 again? Because that's where they're going to be continuous or not continuous. So you plug that in for x because that's where you want them to be continuous at. Yep. A random number? No. 